Hey guys, welcome to my channel Prodbug and we are learning the APM and th in this particular chapter I am going to cover a very interesting topic uh, like uh, switching from native to web view and from back to the native view. Okay, so uh, you must have seen some hybrid uh, kind of uh, applications where you start with mobile application but in between there are few pages which are in web, uh, in web view, right? Like readme and there are a lot of uh, links so uh, it's very important to understand how you can switch from uh, like uh, native application to web view and then again come back to your application and do some things okay so this is what we are going to cover in this particular chapter okay so uh, okay what we will do uh, we will again pick this particular application okay uh, the web driver IO which we have seen in case of swipe uh, chapter right in swipe chapter so here is the second you can see there is a web view so we are going to click uh, here okay so this is a web view and if you see th this complete application which you are seeing is uh, is not the native this is the web view okay and here this one is the native uh, application okay so they have given all the combination you can that's why this is a very interesting application to use okay so what we are going to do we will go to the web view we will do something here we, like we, we are going to click these uh, hamburger icon we will close it and then we'll click on the get started and after doing all this thing we will again come back to our uh, own application okay this application uh, maybe the login and we will try to access this pages okay so this will be the part of the uh, ios okay android sorry not ios uh, android uh, app apk application okay so the, only this is the web view which i have shown you okay so uh, let's let's uh, go to the code uh, we 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 already know. I will just show you. So I am just passing app three here uh, because this is our application three, third application like here. I have already shown you in the uh, last chapter what are the settings. But let's quickly go through again. You understand this particular point? We are opening our APK here. We are passing all this thing. We are passing our uh, app package and app activity, and that's it. And this application will be started. Okay let me close rest of the classes okay so la yeah so this so we will like switch from native to web then again we will come back to the native so these two switch we are going to do okay so uh, let me show you and this will be uh, exactly similar to like in selenium also we switch from you know uh, from one windows to another windows or maybe from iframe to another iframe so this code will be very very similar to that okay how to start so first of all uh, current context so driver dot get context it will give it context meaning is it will show you what is the real context you are working on okay so like i have printed here so native app meaning you are playing with the native app but if it is something related uh, starting with the web view means you are opening the web part of the application okay so these are the apks which we call as hybrid so these apks these application contains both native and web view generally most of the time application are only pure native okay but uh, few hybrid applications are there where you have to switch to the web view okay so how the code goes see uh, driver dot get context just to print out okay so let me show you i have already run this particular application and we will see okay so this is a native app okay so driver dot get context handles okay so again uh, now this is a coming as a array okay so but but we can see that right now we are inside the native app okay so i have just simply printed this go to the web view okay so before go to the web view we we need to click on the web view part okay so what we are doing basically this is the home application open now we need to click this web view so remember right now we are in the native and this web view is a part of native app only okay so once you click on this then whatever open that is a web view okay till that you are in native view so we are still in the native view so so appm by dot accessibility id so accessibility id will work here okay so because we are still in the native view web view is the locator for this particular icon web view is the locator id so we simply clicked on this and okay so some thread dot sleep after that 
here is the important part like driver dot get context handle so uh, whenever you click on such buttons where you are uh, going to the web view then you need to get all the context handles all the handles you need to print out okay so this is the current handles is so current handles this is clearly showing that we have the now two handles okay so one is a native and one is a web okay so you need to switch to the web before you trying to handle the uh, elements inside the web view so here you can see that current handles we know now after clicking on the web view we know now we have the two context if you see before before clicking on that only uh, native app is coming right and this is the, exactly the same code you can see this line and this line is exactly same okay but earlier we are only see the native app now we are uh, see web view as well in the context handle okay so why because we clicked on this web view and now we are into the web view okay so now to switch to the uh, web view the simple code very simple code we always create a set a string offset okay why because just to get the unique value okay because there might be something duplicate values may occur in sometimes we have seen so if you call this particular driver dot get context handle so only the unique value so in our case it is already unique but sometimes you know i have seen that uh, web view comes two times two or three times okay so in that case uh, it's always advisable to create a set of string so now this handles will contain this value one and two okay so handles dot get one so get one get zero is this this is the zeroth index this is the first index so uh, what i am doing i am just fetching the second part so that's why uh, what I, I just converted uh, the set into the array list and set from the set we fetch the one index okay so which is the first index this one so i fetch that i converted i just converted into the array list and i get this okay so if you print out this uh, web context so see fetched web, uh, web context you can see fetched web context is this one so ultimately uh, what do we want to do we want to fetch the second value okay you can use any of the strategy to fetch this particular name once you have this particular name what do you need to do you need to use this command driver dot context and this one so once once you pass the web context so driver will be converted the context of the web driver will be con converted to the web okay now we can't use the native locators or anything anything related to the native we can't use okay so now we are in we have switched and i have printed the current context so current context you can see now only one value is coming okay now because we have already uh, switched into the web view now we have only one context remain that is web view now we can use our selenium commands like css selector xpath id anything but everything has to be related to selenium okay now there is nothing about appium we have already switched the context and now you can use all our css xpath etc okay so now let's try to understand these three lines what i am doing i am clicking on the toggle navigation bar then i will close it which i have shown you right and then we'll click on the this uh, getting started button okay so now let's open the normal desktop okay so uh, let me find my css and okay I'll click here control f paste so you can see uh, this is a button okay hamburger button okay so i am able to identify it by this css i am able to identify this element right but if you see that this element is not visible inside the page there is there is no hamburger because if you see here if you go to the web view uh, let's go to the home page here see i i am clicking on this hamburger okay this this icon okay but this icon is not present in this web view and this is also a web view this is also a web view why this is happening if you remember in the previous chapter i told you that uh, it happens sometimes whenever uh, because this is a desktop view whenever you shrink it a lot of things get changes okay xpath and a lot of icon get changed i will show you that right now uh, in the previous chapter we had just talked on that topic but now i will show you exactly how it will change this. so so i recommended you guys in the previous chapter that use the mobile view of the from here so the chrome developer tool is fantastic they have given a lot of features and this is one of the feature you click here 
this icon I clicked and this will be converted to the mobile view so select your device any of the device okay and you can increase the percentage like uh, 100% okay so this is the view okay now now let's try to again try to find this button okay so see now you can see this has been selected right you if you go click on the button you can see this has been selected okay so now this hamburger is visible but if you open in a full 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 screen size this hamburger is not visible okay so hamburger has been introduced once once you reduce your screen size okay so that's why it's very very important to find the locators uh, by using this particular features okay toggle device toolbar okay so we are able to find the hamburger now we will click on this so let's click and now I, I we need to find the locator of this x path let's see what locator we have used another css let's copy and try to find yes so that particular element we are able to so this is the button okay the close button is here okay the close button so we have written the css path for this you can see uh, this is the class and this is the value okay so this is a css we are able to you can use xpath id whatever uh, you want to okay okay so we clicked again close and now we want to click on the get started okay so again i have used another uh, css uh, for this and let's see getting started okay so here is the anchor tag which we want to click so we will click on the get started this page should come okay what we done after that okay so we clicked on the getting started and after that uh, I I want to okay so let's say uh, my all the web part has been finished now I don't want to use the web part and I want to use my native features okay so what simply you already have this path right because we have already fetched all these things so just you need to call this command driver dot context and native app so so if after passing this your driver will again become your native uh, switch to the native context okay now now we can't access any of the web, web related part now what i have done is just to see that is really working so i just click on this login button and this is you remember the, these all button all or the these button are all part of the native application okay these are not the web part so if we are able to click on the login if we are able to see this screen means we are successfully able to switch to the native application right and this is the accessibility id for the email input email and we just simply and enter here abc at the right gmail some random email id if we are if we are able to successfully uh, use these two commands means we our uh, switch back to the native is successful and if we are able to do all this thing means we are able to successfully switch to the web view okay so i hope this is very clear right very simple right uh, the real code is very less in this a uh, lot of sys out just to show you exactly but real commands is r very very less just to fetch the all the handles get the unique one and fetch the web and just simply driver dot get context so this is the real command actually to to switch to the context okay rest are just to fetch the values okay uh, okay so let's run this particular code and see what happened let's wait for some time web driver io should open so we click on the web view so now the web view so this is the web view we click on the hamburger here uh, and after that we'll close it let's wait hamburger open we click on the close on the top close button then we scroll and we click on the web uh, getting started okay the first button this is the getting started we are able to click without scrolling we switched back to the native we go to the login and we entered some random login id okay so so we are able to switch to the web and we are again able to successfully come back to the native and we are able to do some operations right and here you can do swipe or anything what uh, whatever you like so i hope this particular thing is very very clear to you guys how to switch from native to web web to native and uh, let's meet you then in the maybe in the next chapter yeah 
so till then uh, have a good day and keep learning keep smiling bye bye